There are many, many programming languages out there. But interestingly enough, they're often divided into two categories, high level and low level. Low level languages operate within more of a binary or zeros and ones kind of way that is perceived as machine level, while high level languages are more readily understandable by people. There are sublevels within the high and low levels as well. We call these generations. It may seem strange to us now, but early first generation languages, these are referred to as 1GL, were written in binary. These machine level languages were challenging to code in and bug test, but they could be used to produce programs that ran very fast. The other kind of low level languages that we tend to recognize are the 2GL second generation languages. You may hear of them referred to as assembly languages. The reason they're called assembly languages is because they need to be translated into machine level code by an assembler so that a computer can readily understand and use the code. Today's high-level programming languages include the third, fourth, and fifth generations of languages. They're used for all sorts of tasks. You name a modern reason to program software, and one of these languages is likely being used. Most of the programming languages you may have heard of, such as Java or C++, are considered third-generation languages. You may have a mental image of people staying up all night, drinking a lot of coffee, and writing thousands upon thousands of lines. A lot of the software coded using 3GL languages can be really big and require teams of varying sizes in order to plan, code, and test the software. Given that 3GL languages are even more human-like than 2GLs, compilers are required to translate the code into the computer's necessary machine language. There is some debate as to whether Visual Basic, which is used to build Windows applications, is more of a 3GL or 4GL language, but you're more likely to hear it referred to as being 3GL. 4GL languages are often utilized for working with databases. You may have heard of the term SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language. Although it is certainly possible to build and maintain a modern database without using SQL much at all, if at all, it is widely popular. Keeping in mind that the higher the number of generation language is, the more easily understandable it is by human users, 5GL languages pretty much take care of the code side of things by themselves, relying on their own constraints rather than anything a user would need to write. I wouldn't worry about 5GL systems evolving into robots that'll take over the world anytime soon, but they are some strong examples of artificial intelligence, seemingly human-like intelligence, demonstrated by machines.